Welcome to Specific Love. With the overwhelming response we received from the last 10 secret hiding places already in your home, here's 10 more places you can hide your stuff. If you have a decent sized kitchen, chances are you're going to have a pretty good sized light fixture in the kitchen to make it look nice and fancy. In this case, it's a nice old wooden setup and provides a lot of hiding space. Once you get the cover off, make sure to avoid any of the electrical wire, which is usually under this middle section, and the lights. You don't want to accidentally catch anything on fire. Once you get the cover off, you're going to have to look around and see where the best spot is. Just make sure that wherever you put it, it's not going to block light or it's going to be obvious. In other words, if I put something over here, you can easily see it when the light's on. But if I put it over here on the wood support frame, it'll be very hard to even spot with the lights on or off. Another great place to hide stuff in the kitchen is actually your soap dispenser bottle, as long as it's not the clear version. Now the only time that I've ever opened this is to add more soap. So it's a great hiding spot. Just take your top off, then you want to take, in this case, some money, wrap it up in some kind of a plastic bag, and carefully slide it in the place there. Put your lid back on. And there you go. Plain sight. Nobody would ever be the wiser. If you happen to have these simple plastic window blinds in your house, these make great little hiding places. Now, usually right here in the corner, there's a little tab that just slides right out. Then you can carefully just pop this whole section out. Now, once you get the blinds down, you can see that there's usually some additional space right in here. You can take something like a flash drive, or maybe some money, and you can slide it right into place, put everything back up, and nobody would have a clue. Now most of us have tissue boxes at our house, but these things also make great hiding spots. If you carefully open the end, it gives you full access to all of the tissue inside. You slowly start pulling up, you can reach underneath all of the tissue. Then take another piece of cardboard, this just was from a pizza box, I cut it. You want to slide it into place. Now that gives you a little area underneath all the tissue, you can hide something. In this case, maybe an envelope full of some cash. Slide that in place, then get you some stick glue. You can put everything back together, glue it in place, and you can set that right out in the open and nobody will have a clue. In most bathrooms, you'll find a toilet paper holder. If you carefully remove it, take the toilet paper off, now you're left with this springy plastic. Great thing about this, if you slowly pull it apart, you'll find out that the spring stays on one side and the other side is completely empty. Now you can take some money or whatever you'd like, slide it inside, carefully put everything back together, there you go, a nice convenient little money holder. If you happen to have an ironing board here, like we do in our laundry room, if you take some money, you can stuff it in a nice white envelope, fold it up nice and sealed, and then you can take it and you can wedge it in between the different layers of your ironing board. Now I do suggest probably putting this closer to the back, back here, so it's less likely for the iron to hit it, but it's a great way that you can have a nice little hiding spot in your laundry room. And almost every house I've ever been in has some kind of a picture frame or a large frame poster or something along those lines. But if you carefully take it down, you can hide a nice envelope full of money. You can slide right in between the actual painting and the frame. There's usually some kind of a gap in here. Carefully hang it back up. Make it even, of course. Right there. <laughs> and nobody would have a clue. For this next place, I definitely suggest wearing some type of gloves. Now if you go up in your attic, this is our attic here, you can have some insulation. Now whether you have the roll out kind or just the, the, the debris kind that just kind of sits everywhere, if you carefully you can separate it just a little bit from the wood that it surrounds. Now if you take, in this case, some cash, put it in a plastic bag, you can carefully pull apart a little bit of the insulation. You can then 
wedge the bag in between, and there you go. Out of sight, out of mind. If you've had your house for a good amount of time, the chances are you've done some painting somewhere in it. Well, if you had saved your paint cans, this is a great place to hide some stuff. Especially if you have an empty can. Now, what you do is you take whether it is some money, some documents, maybe even a flash drive, and you can put it down in there. Now, I do suggest if you're going to do this, to take like a towel and wrap it up in the towel. And the reason being is when you put it in a can, there's less likely it's going to make noise if it happens to get moved around. Now, you can do this with a can that has currently paint in it. Just make sure you have a nice sealed bag and then you can carefully push it down and maybe even take a stick and push it down into paint so it's less likely to be seen if it happens to be open. Once everything is done, seal the lid back on, put some other paint on top of it, and no one would be the wiser. Now here in my kitchen, you have my sink and you have these fake drawer covers that do not move. Well, right up behind these makes some awesome hiding places. Now if we look under here, sometimes you'll see these support brackets that put in to give some extra added strength to your cabinets. And that way, if you take an envelope, a lot of times, if you're careful, you can wedge a little envelope back in place there. You can also put a piece of tape on it if you choose. In any case, it's a great little hiding spot that very few people would ever even look at. Now I hope you can use some or even all of these places to hide your stuff. Just be careful, make sure there's no electrical wires or any kind of coils or anything that can get hot and possibly overheat and catch fire. So always be safe whenever you're hiding stuff. See you in the next video.